Hey guys, Faded here, and welcome to the very first episode of the Faded and Friends podcast. Let's get right into it. So our guest today for our first ever show is one bad man pajama, Benjamin Gamer from Lisbon, North Dakota. How the heck you doing today, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh man, I'm always awesome. I think you know that. Nice. You ready to play this game? I am. Sweet. Kind of interested in it. Yeah, heck yeah. He says it's uh, who's the best liar. Right? Yeah, pretty, Isn't that pretty much. Yeah, yep. sweet. I can make up some pretty good lies. Yeah? You fancy yourself a good liar? Mm-hmm. I fancy myself a good storyteller. Well, I'm a good fisherman, so, you know, <laughs> yeah. you, you always got to always gotta have... Well, see, that's bad for me, because I'm, I'm a really, really crappy fisherman. Um. <laughs> Which really helps you with either some really, really good lies. For sure. But, yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> Are you going to come out to the lake this summer? Go fishing? Do you ever fish in Minnesota? I don't. I don't do... I mean, I do a couple... You know, a weekend or two, I'll go out there with some friends to their lake, but I'll be spending a week out there in July, so I will I will well, be doing a little... What lake? Um, I'm not sure. We're going to Man Trap Lodge. Man Trap Lodge? That's over by Pelican somewhere. Pelican. Okay. Yeah. You're going to be a, for a week out there. You guys ever fish Otter Tail? Um, no, we kind of stay off those big lakes. Oh, okay. And, what, what do you like to fish for? Bass. I think yeah. they're just fun to catch. Um, great lake that's right by our tail is Walker Lake. You go okay. over there, yeah, you can get like right into the weeds and My surface. friend's got a, a really great lake for bass fishing. It's like Lake Ida. Lake Ida. I've heard of that, yeah. He's, he's, that. he's back in a little, uh, it's not on the main part of the lake, but he lives back in a little canal area. Oh, okay. And you just hammer some really nice sized bass. Yeah, what do you use? Top waters? Yeah. 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 Nice. And then, uh, it's really, if you, unless you got a bass boat, it's hard to get in there because right. it's so weedy. Right. So we, last year we just go out on this little paddle boat and just cast out top waters all day long and just hammer bass. It was awesome. Yeah, heck yeah. Have you ever uh, kayak fish? Um, if I had kayak, I would. I mean, I have before on like a vacation kind of thing down the river, but yeah. that was, I'll fish out of canoe going down the river For during sure. the year, but that's. I got a tiny little boat. Oh, actually I have a. I have a fishing kayak. What are we supposed to do, but We were ready to log into this. <laughs> it's not a touch screen. Yeah, for some reason I can't get volume. We don't need any volume, do we? It may be nice, but. All right, well, <laughs> if, if you can figure it out, figure it out. We can keep hang on. So, anyway, so I have a fishing kayak and I just bought it like two summers ago. It was just a cheap thing. <laughs> um, and I took it over to this Walker Lake and I, it wasn't fishing season yet, so I didn't really I didn't bring anything. I was just kind of testing it out. And, you know, right away, it was wavy over on otter tail, which it usually is. And uh, so I make it over to Walker, and I'm like, oh, man, like I got this. Like This is awesome. <laughs> so I'm cruising around Walker. It's a smaller lake, so I kind of make my way around an hour, hour and a half, something like that, just kind of chilling. And I come back, and it's way wavier on otter tail. And I'm like, Psh, I can handle this. So, like, I handle it, you know, just a little more. And I'm going, and I'm going, I'm going, and all of a sudden I see this big wave coming. I'm like, oh, man, I'm screwed. <laughs> it just takes you over. <laughs> yeah. I try to turn to get into it. Boom, it just picks me up and dumps me. And boom, there's some guy standing on a dock. And they're like, ah! <laughs> I jump up. And I, have you ever been on Otter Tail? Yeah. I mean, you can go 150 yards out. and It's, it's pretty shallow. Yeah, yeah, it's shallow. So, like, I Im- immediately landed on my feet. But I was like, oh, gee. <laughs> I tried to get back in the kayak. That was pretty chilly water, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was really cold. <laughs> well, it was, it was uh, early May, so right. yeah, it was cold. Are we ready for this, bud? Yep. What's our code? Right there. Oh. S-R-N-E. S-R-N-E. Pre- be prepared, boys. And for some reason, things are screwing up, so I can't record this and I can't get sound, so... Might have to narrate a little bit as we go, so okay, we'll get we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's all right, man. This is the first episode, like, and yeah. I plan on doing this a lot. Yeah, learn as we go. Yeah, heck first yeah. episode has to be a train wreck. That's just yeah. how it works. Oh, it's not a train wreck. I'm already having fun. <laughs> so, relay for life. Like, what when you got up and give a speech? What did you talk about? What did you? Uh, I, I was uh, actually at science school running on the treadmill and I saw the stage being built and I'm like I pff, I bet you that's where gamers gonna be that's where I was right on that big stage up there um pretty much just got me up there you know I told a little bit about my story I'm a cancer survivor 18 year cancer survivor just told about my path where how I got here today what I'm doing how what I'm using my story for now today and how it's impacting others really 
Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. So you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, did they make a lot of money doing that? Yeah. Yeah, they were they the uh, Richland County had uh, I think everyone's got to play everybody's in the first year and then uh, they were talking about uh, they had twenty one teams in the over at the activity center this year for the relay for life and uh, they said one of the teams that didn't <laughs> the fuck, yeah. fucked it up again <laughs> hey, watch it. one of the one of the teams that wasn't there they said had already raised ten thousand dollars prior to the event so yeah oh wow really yeah so Jeez. a lot of money was raised which is good yeah definitely that's awesome what do we do oh, I think uh, I think your yeah. name screwed it up Oh, uh, probably. Yeah, it's, it's your fault. Then. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yep. And I got to reset. Oh, several a... failed attempts later, we're good to go. Hey, man, like you said. Uh, same got... code or what? K- no, KDOC, it's right up there, bud. Oh. Yeah. And I'm going with the nickname The Beard, of course. The Beard. The Beard. Yeah, Faded. Fade, faded in the Beard. Faded in the Beard. Heck yeah. That would be an awesome, like, early morning show. Yeah, Faded in the Beard, right? Early mornings with Faded in the Beard. <laughs> Well, I'll just stick with the whole Benjamin thing, I guess. <laughs> That's all right. I would have went with Gamer. I would put like Ultimate Liar or something like that. You're too good of a guy, though. The Ultimate, ultimate Fibber. Lie. The Ultimate Fibber. Let's we'll see. The Beard. Come on, Beard. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm ultra competitive. Just so you know. I, I could figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Pick that up. Yeah. Bit. Five hundred thousand for finding the truth realm. Awesome. Yep. All right. Pick a category. Choosing eggs. 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 That's what right. we're choosing. I love eggs. Bacon love and it. eggs, baby. Yeah, that's what we're choosing. Eggs. That's my nickname for Kevin Bacon is eggs. I don't know what that eggs. means though. Road trip. Went on a spring break trip to Doggy Yang, China. Doggy Be Yang. sure to try their eggs cooked in. Oh. What's going on? So now what do we it's, do? It should have us put in a lie here pretty soon. Oh, oh here we go. go. <laughs> Are we supposed to look this up? No, we're supposed oh, to look Oh, we're just putting in a lie. You're lying right now. How long do we have? Oh, whoa. Yep, your, your time, by the way. I forgot to mention Oh, jeez. Um, so I got my lie in. I got mine in. I'm in. Cat <laughs> grease. So, so now cat, we, we're, we're so, choosing an answer? Yeah. So you can either choose cat feces, blood, young boy urine, or snake grease. What happened to cat feces? Oh. oh. Gross. Why did you cook in cat feces? Uh, well, I don't know. All right. So how do we send it in? Cavney! Woo! The beard. Yeah, that was actually my lie, though. Oh, was it? Yeah. Blood is my lie. Oh, yuck. Oh. Young boy here. Who's, who's faded? Was, yuck. Is, I'm faded. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, Young oh, boy here, so I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> That's disgusting. Who would drink that? Who would eat sure. that? Young. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Boy, oh, how can you that, serve that? That is can't. That cannot be the truth. That is disgusting. So I got. How come you got fifteen hundred points? Oh, because he picked, you, got, he got he picked your word for a yeah. lie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this oh. thing is awesome. The beard's picking. Um. Let's go with oh fuck yeah miniature. Mm. Oh boy. Okay. All right. All right. Oh my gosh. Al- Algram Acres is a nine-hole miniature golf course oddly located in an Illinois blank. In Illinois. We got Funeral Home, Chicago Shopping Mall, Schoolhouse, and Minefield. What? I don't know. Yeah, that's really hard. Um, 
I'm I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Here we go. Is that the answer then? No, no. that's my life. Oh, uh, dang! Faded's killing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh boy! So I got oh, that. Yeah. I got yeah, that I'm one. Getting, Here we go. I'm getting wonked in a funeral home. Dang. And that's the answer, huh? I guess so. How can you got two answers? I, Dang. Are you getting the answer, Keo? No. Oh, all right, we got to get this. I think I've actually heard about that before, so I think that's why. Yeah, whatever. Well, Jeez. I got a few points there, oh, anyways, huh? Yeah. Terrible. The beard's still at zero. <laughs> yeah, the beard, I'll try to get his butt kicked. <laughs> you're, you're just dishing out points there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm trying to help, guys. Come on. Poon cho- Faded choosing the oh. category here. Poon jab. Poon jab. Poon jab. I don't know what that is. Well, here we go. So the Kila Rapier Sports Festival held annually in Punjab, India, has many odd and dangerous events, including one where the participants lay on the ground and get. Hmm. Got my lion. Wow. <laughs> Damped <laughs> with a bamboo lash, kicked, run over by a tractor, or dismembered. Jesus. Sports well, special. <laughs> What the hell? I gotta go with the most extreme option. <laughs> dismember. Which one? Dismember? Yeah, let's play, let's play, let's play this. It's basically just guess the one that's crazy Damn, enough I to be suck at this game. I think, you, I think you've given me points every time. Yeah, 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 no. Oh, wow. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, who's is that? Is that That's me? Yeah, the oh my God. God. None of us got it. So, yeah, so none run of us got by, it. You know, I was going to put, like, run over by a car oh or something. Oh, my like goodness. That. That's awesome. You'd have to, like, wonder who would actually, like, volunteer to, like, be a part <laughs> yeah, of that event. Who do that? So who wants to be in the uh, run over by a tractor event? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Damn it. I need to get out of this. Oh, all right, all right. All right. Here we go. Two. Oh, jeez, the points are for growing. 2,000 for finding the truth. That is awesome. You can learn a lot from this game. Yeah, huh? heck yeah, a lot of mindless crap knowledge. This is awesome. Go with uh, Romania. For Romanian. Romanian. All right. Romanian. Oh. In 2013, the Romanian government, facing financial hardship, started taxing a group of people they had never taxed before. They started taxing blank. Oh, I got a good one. This is an awesome game. How many rounds do we play? Uh, I'm not sure how many it is, to be honest. Well, let's keep going. Yeah, I got a I got to win. So, uh, we Democrats. Have, which, is, which is Democrats' children and newborn children. So we have children on there twice. So someone guess it, so if you get it right. Um, Faded in the beard. Yeah. Oh. Oh, big points there, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Right. Big you points there. Mine. You gave me a thou. The beard's lie. <laughs> so who witches, is witches, wow. huh? Yeah. That's crazy. You, That's all right. I'll take, the, I'll take yeah, the 2000. That's crazy. How would you do that? She's a witch taxer. Yeah. <laughs> well, heck, none of us got that one, but yeah. I got a couple thousand yeah, points there. I like Man, that. Yeah. I suck. Does that bring you up top? Yeah. For sure. Ooh, For sure. I'm still 2000 down. Just in, I'm doing it. Man. So now we got sure. Ben at 3,750. Faded at 3,500 and... The beard at fifteen hundred. <laughs> Loser. Loser. <laughs> Shut up, man. All right, we're going with injured. 
Injured seems like a great category. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. That can, it seems, seems to be the vibe going here. Like ego on According to a 2010 study, one child in the U.S. was injured every 46 minutes by a... Mm. That could go so many terrible mm. ways. Man, I'm so glad the financial statement analysis homework was easy. Class yeah. is hard, bro. Yeah, I still have to do that. It, dude, it really doesn't take long. You got to change literally what is it like twelve numbers, and then the whole th- and then change the percentage, and then you got it. It's really simple. Yeah. It's All right, here we go. Hard, no big deal. All right, let's win. So swing, wow. swing set, bully, gun, or a bounce house. Those gotta all be true, to be honest. Right. There's gotta be seasons for bounce houses, though. Uh, well, I mean, they have that air zone that's indoors. Or sky zone. I, I don't know. So what says you choose swing set award bonus likes? What does that I mean? I don't know what that means. What? Oh, um... Damn! Hey, I got some points oh, off you again, huh? Yeah. yeah. Not guns. Ah! Swing set. Yeah! Oh, Get my God. Two point. Jeez Louise. Fine, I bet it was bully. Bounce house. Bounce house. Bounce. There it is. That yeah. is the truth. Dang. You talked yourself into it. Out there. Right. All right. And I'm a suck the liar because I feared bully would be like the most believable. Oh, oh we got a tie with the beard on, and Kami. faded. Come on, Cammy. 1,250 points behind me. Whatever. Benjamin, the guest is Arsenal taking over the show. Stare, we're going with roids. We're going with roids? We're going with steroids. Steroids. Oh, that man, seems to be a great yeah. category for us. <laughs> After an allergic reaction series. Yeah. After an allergic reaction to steroids <laughs> used to treat asthma, a 28-year-old year woman started growing on her head instead of... Blank on her head instead Blank of hair. Blank on her head instead of hair. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Oh, Yes. Best one ever. I, I like this. Where they find, I like, like this. How do they find these questions? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so we have testicles, balls, fingers, and fingernails. <laughs> oh, so man. basically, so wow. So basically, you have two options. <laughs> wow. Oh, um, that's great. Oh. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> We're funny. So, testicles. Yes. Oh, yes. Is, uh, the beard's lie. The beard, give the beard a thousand. I was hoping it was right. Oh, fingernails. fingernails. Oh, faded and the beard. Oh. oh! Unreal. Yes, that might have put us back up. <laughs> that puts me with the downstairs in the oh, third place. Oh. For funny, I was hoping it was testicles yeah. so much. Yeah. Oh man, oh, the beard! Could you, could you imagine that if you just saw some lady like walking around? <laughs> She's got like balls growing testicles on her head. Right. That'd be awesome. I went from first to third. Oh the man, final the final fibbage. Oh man, what a great game! Nice, yeah. uh, nice pick. I like this. This is fun. Heck yeah! Oh, man. You ready for Cali, man? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I can't. Super excited. What is it? Two, what doctor two weeks, Edgar weeks. Parker legally changed his name, his first name to, in order to help his dental practice? What? Hmm. What did he legally change? Um, I'm going to go for it here. All right, all the lies. Right. Painless <laughs> chomps, toothy, and whitey chompers. Whitey chompers. <laughs> That's the one I picked. The, oh. the guy's a liar, so. <laughs> and I feel like Painless would be a very stupid first name. <laughs> painless Eddie Parker. Ah, oh, that was you. Or no, no. Oh, oh my God. to the beer. Chumps. 
You were chomps. That was chomps. Please tell me. Oh, I'll take those 1500 back, huh? That's all right. Oh, I got 750. Because I used the lie for me button. Because I didn't know. Oh, oh, wow. Nice. You know what? You treated, you did this no. game before, I bet. You know these answers. I've actually only played this like twice. So. <sighs> Do they ever... Have you seen any questions this soon? I think they update every... Oh. But... Oh, there's only I just one. Figured it, oh, it, was the, oh, it was the only oh, one. That did, it was the only one that didn't have like tooth in it. So I figured you can it had say to be. you can say thank you because I got the beard, so yeah. you can win. <sighs> All right. Wow, well, what a game. Oh no, same players. Are we going again? Yeah, we, we gotta can, go again. Go. We can do another. All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Let's do another. Oh, what the hell just happened? All right, we're good. We're going. Yeah. The beard came in second. All right, we got. Gamer, are you going to be at the gym tomorrow or what? I'm going to be at the gym 8 a.m. Oh, uh, damn right. You, you got to be there ready to skip leg day. God, man, <laughs> for everyone out there listening, man, always skip leg day. And always show up on leg day because if you don't show up on leg day, you can't skip leg day. Standard practices, you have to show up and then decide that you're not doing that and pick something else. Exactly. All right, category <laughs> sergeant. <laughs> Who's sar- yes, oh, sergeant? Oh, that's true. Hey, so. oh, man. The first and only dog to be given rank in the United States Armed Forces would, was named Sergeant Blank. The beard has entered his life. I got my lie entered about time. to be it lied about. Meant. Barkley, Spike, Rocky, and Stubby. Stubby, that's awesome. Oh, man. He's Rocky. He's got nerves of steel. <laughs> oh, I picked the wrong one. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> stubby, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> it, it's got to be Stubby, no doubt. Uh, why did I pick that one? Which one did you pick? I didn't mean, I didn't mean to. Oh, I didn't I'll pick Spike. That. That's my lie. I'll take your 500 oh, points. Oh. And that was oh, right. Oh, my so, goodness. So good on you for... Uh, right, for accidentally clicking the wrong one, that huh? Nice. Oh. Stubby. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, here we go. All right, all right. That's right, I that. started out on zero last time. That's I'll take, right. I'll I'll take the early well. lead. Yeah. yeah, well, you know what? Start off fast. End up slow. What'd you end up last time? Yeah, that's what I thought. I feel like round one really doesn't Choose matter. a word because, oh, you got a... Because you got the like or whatever. So what's that mean? You you get to pick the category? I don't know what that like is, to be honest. Yeah, I don't weird. know how that... Everyone works. just like one. Just see what happens out there. I think it's just like You are more experiencing the, the Mariko Oiki phenomenon when you have the urge to poop well. <laughs> <laughs> blank. To, the urge to poop well blank. <laughs> I got this one. Yeah. <laughs> what happens if all four... An- what if we all guess it right? Oh, my goodness. What if we I think all- you just all get points. If we all put the correct answer up? Yeah. Well, yeah, if we all put, like, the exact same answer. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, having sex, urinating uh, in a bookstore or peeing. Why in a bookstore, though? <laughs> well, in a bookstore. That's awesome. It's got good reads. Um. <laughs> well, in a bookstore. Well, that's I, so I, specific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having that's sex. That's, oh, that's a lie. Take some. Uh oh. Bookstore. Oh, oh man. Is it the truth? Oh! It's the truth. How is that a thing? In a bookstore. Like, I don't know. I guess I've never had the urge to poop while in a bookstore. You know what's Let gonna alone be, I'm never in a bookstore. You know, Mariko Oiki phenomenon. You know what would be great is if they had support groups. It would literally just be like a book <laughs> circle. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, where are we at? Oh, that bit's the beers. Mariko Oiki. Mariko Oiki. Okay, we got to remember that. Yeah, Mariko right. Oiki. We'll tell them. Oh, what's his name? Phenomenal. All right, the beard. Let's see. Ooh, teachers. That's no, a kicking. Bird. Kicking. Boom. Kicking. Yeah, you, cause you're a former for, fight. former fighter. Oh yeah. man, I, I got. So you think you got this one in the bag? Huh? Oh, later in this, if you wanna. Oh yeah, awesome. Gloucestershire, England is home. Glockshire. To, okay, Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire is home to the 
Cots World Olympics and the highlight highlight of which is a traditional blank kicking competition. Oh, you had a quick answer there. You know yeah. this one. Um, traditional kicking competition. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know one kicking competition, but I got it. So mine's oh, face, butt, ass or shin. Face, ass, butt or shin. <laughs> face kicking competition. <laughs> well, bam. I didn't think that would be it. <laughs> be fucked up, man. It's like getting run over by a damn tractor. <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh yeah. Boom. I knew that one right away. It's like the only one that wasn't like overly was Wasn't, obvious. yes. Yeah. yeah. I actually wrote that in there, and if you write the right answer, it says you've entered the right answer. Oh, really? You write something different, yep. Oh, so now we just like at points. Yeah. Oh. Woo! That was good. Face, butt, ass. <laughs> yeah. Very, very... Face, butt, ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's your new nickname, face, butt, ass. Round two. Round two. Faded shoes in the word. So do you do more than just the science school relay for life? Yeah, I'm the event chair for the Ransom County one, too. Oh, wow, really? All right. So I do three counties. According to a University of Barcelona study, surprisingly, 5% of people have absolutely no emotional response when they... Holy crap, was that a damn sentence? Damn right it was. Well, which one I'm not picking? <laughs> Loser <laughs> significant other. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder uh, which one was yours. It's oh, yeah. rough, man. Um, I think I got this one. You think so? I do. I think I actually know this answer. Oh, yeah. Really? Yep. I had a, I think I got it right. The beards lie. The beards lie. No one picked my lie, huh? Lose their <laughs> significant other. Bam. Nope, that's mine. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Was it lose their significant other? Listen to me. Who right? has emotional response to that? Like I, I just <laughs> yeah, think I, was, I don't feel uh, like yeah, a. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. Like I'm sure you do have an emotional response, but who cares? Yeah, it's music. No I don't know. That's weird. How do you? I don't know. Huh? Next one. So eight people can play. Oh, oh three goes from third to first. Right here, but yeah, like eight people could play this game. Could you imagine like how chaotic this would be with like eight people? Oh, wow. I think I think the um <coughs> thumbs up is like how many people guess like if you got like one more than one. Oh, whoops. Twix. Twix it is. That Twix is, it is. That is a delicious candy bar. Yeah, oh yeah, right and left. A man in Milford, Iowa got fired from his job after he used a blank to dislodge his Twix bar from the office vending machine. <laughs> do you guys ever like freeze your Twix before you eat them? No, but I do I Snickers used to. bar. I Snickers used to. bar I do. I love frozen Snickers in the summer. Even though they make you fat, but whatever. That's cool. Ketogenics, everybody. Look it up. It's awesome. Change your life. Guaranteed. All lies are entered. A car, penis, fire extinguisher, <laughs> forklift. Um, wow. A car? I don't even know how you'd use your penis to dislodge yeah. the Twix. Be very weird. Well, have you guys ever seen Bad Grandpa? I mean... It Fire extinguisher, Benjamin. No. Oh, that's my lie. That's just because it's, it. you know, it's so blunt. I mean, it's so. Forklift was the right answer, huh? Boom. Cool. All right. Nice. Good job, Faden. Was your lie a uh, penis then? Yep, definitely was. Jeez. Weren't you the one who told us to keep it clean for this interview? <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta have a little fun. All right, all right, all right. Just that no would be a, That would be a horrible sight to walk in on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just basically <laughs> scoring them the vending machine. Yeah, for sure. All cool. right, you're up. I'm up. Yeah. We're picking um, 
Ashes. Ashes the ashes. Because I'm feeling death. Wow, jeez. Isn't real life for life about life? It George is. George Frankwell is the CEO of a Georgia-based company that will turn your dead relative's ashes into... What did I say? <laughs> you sicko. What did I say? Uh... I do hate that the... Uh like countdown bar like starts going before it actually like loads up yeah like, see it like takes a second oh man it's almost time for funny okay so we got lifelike statue glitter a beverage a reef um drink your family's ashes and <laughs> it, it is a thing that's a thing I know for a fact really? that's a thing that's messed up man Faded. Wow, a lifelike statue? What are you going to change ashes into a lifelike statue? You I blue? figure they just compress it down. And well, who are you guys talking? You guys both picked my lives. No. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, I have not gotten, like, any of these questions right this it's round. It's reef. just oh, you guys yeah. pick my lies all the time. A reef? That's weird. Like, how would you put that into... How would you make that into a reef? How would you want it to be... What is... I mean... I don't want to be part of the ecosystem forever, I guess. I, sure. Oh man, fate it's killing, bro. I guess I'm gonna lose. No, no, never give up, never surrender, broski. If I had an unlimited amount of money to do with uh like my ashes when I die, just shoot me into space because that'd be oh. awesome. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh here we go. Ooh, this is it. This is it. Oh come on. My hat's on back. Oh yeah, yeah, man. It's like a switch. Have you ever seen the movie Over the Top? It's like a switch. <laughs> Brand name of the criminal dolls for children with names like Dickie the Dealer and Bonnie and Bribe. What? Brand name. Brand name. I should have read the question better. Why? <laughs> well, you know what's going on? Criminal dolls. <laughs> Is that really what you put for your answer? <laughs> criminal dolls. <laughs> oh my That's gosh. Good. Oh. Oh man. I got it. So it's thuggies, you mob, up. thuggies, mob kids, criminal dolls, or little felons. Oh my goodness. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, oh damn. Dang. Why am I? Dang. Faded's got this, man. And I don't think I've answered a single question right so far. Oh. Oh, oh at the end, Juice comes in with a big kick. Oh, yeah. Dang, Faded. That's 6,000. 6,000. Right oh, man. From us. That's a pound. No one was feeling criminal, criminal dolls, huh? No. Sorry, no. criminal dolls. <laughs> that was in the damn <laughs> <I> question. <know>. <laughs> 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 that's idiotic awesome that was awesome man five I, likes for faded yeah I still don't know how that like thing yeah, works we'll give it to you good for you so what do you think one more round want we'll to play one more it's what is it tw- 223 so we got a little bit we got what, 40 minutes left yeah I'll, I'll play another we'll one one more round yeah heck yeah I gotta win one here <laughs> yeah me too man I feel like a loser oh man so why Ben I gotta ask why didn't you come to California with this why not California? Why well, not California? just financial obligations, you know. I'm looking to kind of, I'm looking at buying a house right now. Looking right. to get a nice full time job at Pizza yeah. Ranch in Lisbon. So are you? Gonna, I, I thought there was in the works for you to buy that. Um, hopefully yeah. I'll be a part owner here in the next couple months. Really? Wow, yeah. that's awesome, man. Good for you. And to explain the, the whole California thing, what we're doing is. Um, it's actually the ICDC for DECA, so it's the International DECA competition. So Going yeah. to deal with business ethics, heck oh, yeah. yeah. State champ, you are in the presence of, did you win state? Or did you get, yeah, yeah. you got a first NSA, you are in the presence. You are listening to three state DECA champions. You want to talk some business? Us three, man. We know what the heck we're talking about. Road trip went on a, on the Hawaii island of Molake. Be sure to visit the Whoa, what's going on? Hula Hu Post Office where you're able to mail blank oh. without using a package.
So we got pineapple, Hawaiian what? Lays. Lays, glitter, and coconuts. Is glitter like a, a new term for methamphetamines on <laughs> Hawaii? <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm tripping out on glitter. <laughs> Oh, there we go, right off the bat. Oh, uh, gamer starts out with five. Oh. That's my uh, line. So I give it right back to him. Yep. That's, a, suppose, that's, that's a reused line. I suppose line, the yeah. beard got it right then. Cave me. Yeah, the beard, baby. Woo! Yes. Cave me starts off in front. Actually, that hasn't worked out for you either time, has it, gamer? Nope. Maybe that's not so good. <laughs> Faded will come in. He's been what? playing this game. You know it. Not really. <laughs> no, I'm he's been practicing. practicing. Well, because I can't. I mean, I can't play it by myself. I suppose. Yeah, I think the minimum is like two people. Pick a category: gamer, financial. We're going with Lohan. Lindsay. Lindsay Lohan. She was so good. Celebrity tweet: four thirty-two p.m. the twenty-second of May in two thousand twelve. At Lindsay Lohan tweeted: "Blank is the best medicine." <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. Uh, I am very know where that one's going. Yeah. This could be a good one. Yeah. Heroin, shaving, <laughs> booze, and working. <laughs> uh. Oh. 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 Huh? Oh. oh, wow, oh, we all got truth. truth. Wow, dang. That one was almost because it was like the only one that wasn't. Was, yeah. Wasn't, yeah. Like, where it, in, in the, hindsight, you probably wouldn't uh, tweet heroin. Right, or booze. Or, well, it wasn't yeah. Zia Lohan. Yeah, well, she was out of her mind for a while there. And then the head shaving, that was a uh, pretty spirit. <laughs> so you didn't even get the yeah. right. Booze, hey, the beard got one. I don't know why. Did, oh, some, did someone click on mine? Nope. Let's go faded. Lucy. 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 I'm home. It's on it every morning on Hallmark Channel. I love Lucy. In a 1999 Channel. interview with US Weekly, actress Lucy Liu revealed that she once had sex with a. Oh, I know this. Do you really? Yeah. Why do you know this? I don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. A ghost? Ghost, cat, midget, and banana. <laughs> wow. I think... I think like three of those don't seem possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, dang it. Oh. Oh, shit. The beard. The beard's right. taking one home. Oh, yeah, he got some like ghost. I don't know. She's <laughs> out of her mind, man. Really? So, did you know that one? No, I didn't. Okay. No. Oh, the beard is taking it away already. Oh, whew. okay, gotta keep Just this up. Keep this up. Come on, Cave me. Come on, beard. Keep the power of the beard. The power. It's happening. So, what do you guys think of conspiracy theories? I don't know. Did man. we land on the moon? Yeah? No? Yeah. Of course we did. Oh, okay. Just check it. See where you guys are at. Oh, shit. That's me. How have you heard about that um, Barack Obama was actually a secret alien wizard person? Um, I think that might be a far fetched one. A man in Watertown, New York, claims to have been happily married for over 25 years I know to this. his wife, Tegan, who strangely is a. I know this. Do you really? Yeah. Let's see this before. Strangely is... you seen this one before? I, I read an article on Reddit on that once. Oh, crap. I want my answer back. My answer's not even possible. <laughs> Damn it. But no, there's some uh, crazy conspiracy Monkey, theories. man, tiger, mannequin in a wheelchair. But, um, yeah, there's some crazy conspiracy theories. I think theories, I've heard about like this, too. The guy who is very convinced that uh, the Earth is flat and that Eminem is cloned. Did we all get that right? Yeah, yeah. we did. Yeah, I think I saw this on the news. The and it's not, like a, it's not like a fashion mannequin. It's a really creepy, like, yeah. really creepy-looking mannequin. <laughs> yeah, that's messed up. So what were you saying? There's uh, Eminem's clone? 
There, yeah, there's a guy online who has like a conspiracy channel, and he's convinced that like the world is flat and that Eminem has been cloned. Like it's we we don't have the original Eminem right now. Like he died, and they just keep bringing. Why? Back. Oh, um, control. Because I love control. Control. That's a great category. Heck yeah. <clears throat> Backyard brain. The Backyard Brains Company sells a device that lets you control with blank with your mobile phone. Hmm. I'm interested to see the answer actually on yeah. this. Waited on faded. We waited on faded. Yeah, what are you singing? We're waiting on Faded. Oh, got it. Cockroaches. Yard Games Hot Tub Irrigation System. Hmm. I don't know how you could, would control cockroaches, yeah. so I don't... Or Yard Games. If it's a Yard Game, you're a cheater. <laughs> yeah. That's there we go. That, That's you? I, yep. And I think it's spelled irrigation. Wrong. Yeah, really? dude, I saw that. I'm like, shit. <laughs> so the answer is cockroaches. cockroaches. What? How would you? Yeah, how do you do that? That seems odd. Yeah. I'm going to look that up. Speaking of... Uh, What's it called? Backyard Brains? Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. looking this bullshit up for you, folks. Backyard Brains. Neuroscience for everyone. Neuroscience made easy, guys. Neuroscience made easy. It's all good. That's the easiest way to explain anything. How, how does this work? I'm Science. In a world. Science, bro. A word here. Let's, let's go with rags. Rags of riches? Rags. Oh, yes. Hey, speaking of rags, when you're a billionaire, will you remember us? Road, Road trip. trip. When in Leza, Spain, be sure to check out the annual, annual festival where participants pelt each other with muddy rags full of... Mud. <laughs> well, I mean, Mud oh. Interesting. I don't think I'd participate. Probably. Yeah, I. You know what? Some of these games, I don't think I'm in. You know, I'm all for a thrill, but running over by a tractor. Yeah. <laughs> what was the other one? Uh, the shin kicking. Oh, the shin kicking contest. No thanks. So feces, fire ants, rocks, and con- cow dung. Oh my gosh. My god. <laughs> Fire ant sounds like a very bad, like, it sounds like April Fool's Day, like, <laughs> prank. <laughs> Just run and throw fire it ants. Sounds, it sounds painful. Yeah. I mean, I've been bitten by a fire You know, they're not fun. Of course, that's going to be the answer, yeah. isn't it? It's going to be fire ants. Thousand beards lie. Throw it to the beard. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That oh, is heck yeah. All right. Who participates in these? These are uh, crazy people, well, man. Why would you... Ugh. Yeah. That would hurt. Yeah, like this backyard brain thing, I guess they, they control friggin... Ew. Oh, wow. Weird. We Shit. gotta catch up. Oh, there's no yeah. way we can catch oh. them. We yeah, you can if you get old people to guess your lie and then get the truth. You can. It's anybody's game. Let's go, beard. You gotta come up with a really good lie here. Yeah, this is. I mean, this is when you gotta bring it. Former first lady Barbara Bush wrote on an official apology letter to his fictional character in 1990. A fictional character in 1990. So, you guys heard about the uh, guy who's getting his head transplanted? Yeah, I heard about that. I don't know if it happened yet. That's a, or uh, Did it actually happen? I don't think they've I done don't, it yet. But I know they're talking about it. It's supposed to be like a 36-hour long procedure. I hey. believe it. I, so, if they're doing that... Oh, here we go. I think I know this one. Honestly, I do. I think so. Um... Let's do this. 
So, like, is it a continuous process? Mickey Mouse. The oh, bear. here we go. I picked up the lie there. Oh, dang. Gave 1500 a game. Or... Uh-oh. Boom. Thank you. That's another back to me. Oh, why did you give him I should have I should have thought about that when it said, like, the purple dinosaur. Like, really? If you wouldn't have got that 1500 I bet I would have been close. Who is it? Who's the winner? Who is the winner? Come on, beer. 3,500. Beer! Oh, he beat me by 1,500. Oh, you guys had the camera on these guns. 1,500, we would have had a tie. You, like, doubled me, so. Ah. Three likes for the beard. So, about this this, uh, head transplant thing. Mm -hmm. Do they, like, does does a surgeon take breaks, or do they, like, alternate surgeons? Well, there's no way they could perform surgery for 36 hours right but like you just I've heard someone before. I've heard you know there's some they it's, do long surgeries like that they do marathon well, surgery and they just keep going yeah. they don't take breaks right they'll, they'll, I know they'll you know they'll, the mm-hmm. only breaks they'll take is if they have to run to the bathroom but they try not to do that hey, I've heard of sometimes where they'll even, doctors will wear like like adult diapers into the no shit so they don't have to leave the room dude that's crazy the 36 hours smells so bad oh man well you but, think all the blood and shit and piss I mean if they're wearing adult drinks to keep you going drinks, right or they got the crack pipe in the <laughs> back and getting but, uh, it something no like right after I heard about that too like I saw in ad for uh, Ghost in the Shell like a new movie they're coming up with that's based off like a cartoon I used to watch when I was younger and, like the whole premise is like uh, these guys, like, had their bodies destroyed, so they have, like, prosthetic bodies, and they basically just, like, upload it into these machines, and they're good right. to go. Like, do you even think, like, that's... Because, I mean, if you're transplanting heads, like, that's not that far off. Right, right? I, I wouldn't think so. Like, you you should... I mean, okay, so you transplant that head, like, that body becomes, like, that person, right? And that body was controlled by... Another head at one time, so I depends. Mean, are you taking the? I mean, you t- I would assume you're taking the brain and everything, well, right? Yeah, I mean, you would have yeah, to, right? They're just like uploading basically somebody's brain, like right into a machine, right? Like, Definitely so, a new person. Uh, yeah, it's, so it's a so it's a new person. Like, I mean, it's a new body, but it's the same head. It's the same thoughts, right? Like, if I, you took my head and put it on your body, it would I'm be you. Yeah, I, you become me. Your body becomes mine. So, I, am I still Joe Caveney, or am I Joe Gamer, or am I Ben Caveney? I, like, what is it? I'd actually who's controlling a, what? Yeah, right. I'd actually heard a like very similar like question to that. That I don't I don't remember what it was in, but it was, um, you can so they invent this teleporter, right? And it works by copying you completely, giving you like all the memories you have up until the point like you were teleported. And then it just makes a copy of you and then destroys the original copy. And have, then, have you heard of that? No, but I saw a movie like that. Yeah. Have you, um, well, what was, was it like, called? The Prestige. Have you seen that? No, I haven't. Okay. So the concept is, um, it's these two, uh, two magician acts who are trying to like, constantly upstage each other for the Prestige. You know, mm-hmm. you guys know what Prestige is, right? Like the, yeah. the adulations. Um, and, uh, they, it goes so far that they like get into science and they talk about like Tesla and stuff. And obviously it's a, a fictional movie, but it's pretty cool. Check it out. And the, the end concept, not to give it away, um, spoiler alert. Uh, you guys watching this have been warned. Yeah. And, yeah. Anyone who's listening and watching to this, like spoiler now, alert. Now's kinda, your time to leave. Right. Right. I'm going to tell you kind of what happens in the prestige at the end here. Well, NK five, four, three, two, one. All right. It's happening. Um, <laughs> so at the end, uh, one of them, Hugh Jackman, goes to Nikolai Tesla and is like, you need to make me a machine that does what this guy is doing because he couldn't figure out what it was. Mm-hmm. And he made a machine that would make a copy of himself, transplant it, but not it wouldn't destroy the other one. So what he had to do was drop himself into a... Uh, like a chamber of water and drown himself. So every night that he went into the show doing this... He had to like go in knowing that like okay I'm gonna die, like I, I'm stepping into this machine. The trap door is gonna open. I'm gonna drop in. I'm gonna panic for two and a half, three minutes, and then it's gonna be over. But a copy of me is going to live on. 
It's an awesome. It's an awesome yeah. movie. See, with this, it was always a question of like, would you use this machine like that teleports you but destroys your original copy? Like, is that actually you, or is that a completely different person? See, I, I don't. It, it it's the exact same thoughts, exact same is is that the concept? The exact same body, exact same thoughts. Every you, other thing. You have all your memories. Like have, they've all been uploaded up until the point where you went into the machine, right? So, so then after anything after that is new memories. Is it made by you or is it made by a copy of you? Is that what you're? Is that what the? Well, no, they're just is? wondering. Like it's it's your copy right. essentially, but they say like since it's everything that you are at the point you walked into the machine, is that still you or is that? Or would good. you use that machine? What would you use a gamer? Okay, uh, here, here's my question, and, and this might be a very um, superficial aspect of it. How does it destroy you? Does you, do you just disintegrate? It, it, just, it just zaps you and you're gone. And you're gone. There's no pain. There's no panic. Nope, there's nothing. Just... Not like the prestige. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Um, uh, I don't know. I guess if it was for a magic trick, I'd probably do it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it? Just, hey, guys, you want to see a cool trick? I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Well, okay. So if it it's, it if it simultane, simultaneously makes a copy and destroys the original, isn't that really just transferring it, like like teleporting you somewhere? So you're not really dead. You're just well, not really, because I mean, hmm. I don't the, know. Your copy thinks it thinks that he is you, basically. So would the copy know? That it was a copy, it would, it, or you just like boom, and this happened. But you would know up to the point where you got transported that you did this procedure, right? Yeah. Oh and man, that would be, like, that would be the That's real thing. It's like you wouldn't, you, your copy would know he's a copy, like right. Oh, your so your copy would know that he's a copy. So does that make him a copy of the original, which would make him not the original? Oh man, so that's a different person. That's crazy. Would you do it? Gamer, I think it'd be fun. Yeah, it would be fun. I like, think it'd be fun. That'd be crazy. If I had nothing to lose, that is. Right, right. You know? Another thing you talk about, nothing to lose. It, let's say you had no more family connections. You had an unlimited fun to do it. Um, they could provide food for the rest of your life. You would never have to. Would you get shot into space to see what's out there? I would. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, I would in a heartbeat. If I had nothing else holding me here, I'd do it in a Speaking heartbeat. Speaking of that, did you guys, uh, I went and I saw the movie Passengers a while back. Is that the one there where they wake up? Yeah. Okay. And that's very similar to what, like, because they're supposed to be in, like, cryo sleep or whatever. Right. Because otherwise, I mean, it's taking them, like, hundreds of years to get to where they're going. Right. So they wake up in the middle of this, and yeah, it was crazy. But Is it good? How are you going to spoil it? Uh, no, I won't spoil it. There's, I mean, there's not much to spoil, but I just, I really like the idea of it. It was a really cool concept. Someday, man. Yeah. Someday, I, yeah, I totally would. Would you get shot in the space? Probably not. Really? Just to see what's out there? I would. I'll look at pictures. Man, I would. I would. If, again, if, if I had nothing to lose, I would. If it was a destination. Right. Like, if not just... We're gonna fire you off into space. And we want you to report every day on what you see. Like, oh yeah, like I, I don't want to do the, the actual research. I want to be like shot out there, like whoa, whoa, and that's it. Like I'm yeah. good as far as the other stuff. Uh, another thought I had. Um, so, do you guys ever think like people see different colors? Like, see colors differently. Like your black is different than my black. Have you ever thought? Yeah. About that? Well, I mean, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. I've always thought that like, like if people have their favorite color, like if it's just the way like. The way they see Yeah, everybody it. loves red, and it's just how you, which color you perceive as red. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, well, yeah, like, so, like, my favorite color is blue, but the way I see blue could be completely different from what you guys, like, you guys could see, like, green or yellow I think that or something. Happens, you'll see that a lot that happens, like, with those, like, magenta, the purple-blue colors, you know, the mixed colors, not so much their common core colors, yeah. but, like. But, but again, but with magenta, like, am I seeing a different magenta than you're seeing? Like when you see, like when you look at this, is your black maybe my white, and my white's maybe your black? Or how about the, I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, um, yeah, I was arguing with one of my coworkers actually about this the other day because they're arguing. You call my pickup uh, purple. And purple. I, I mean, would call that like baby blue or yeah, something. Yeah, it's like it's like as blue as can be, and he was like 100 percent convinced it was purple, and I was oh, like, man. what? He must have been smoking some good stuff. Jeez. Um, yeah, no, that, your car, your 
pick up is not it's yeah but the, i mean along that lines like it just it makes you wonder yeah like, like what people see oh i agree how about this have you ever thought like when you don't see people like they don't exist that it's all like uh you mean object permanence yeah like th- is it there do you guys do it is it is it happening like you guys are just figments of my imagination same as your i'm a figment of your uh, imagination no nah, that one i don't think i do oh i do i like that one. i think you could tell a cool story with it like, yeah I think, that would make a really good creepypasta yeah oh creepypasta i've heard of that really yeah, yeah that's a with a slender man was on there um, yeah they they talk about like um um like local it's uh, horror stories and stuff right Basically, it's uh, campfire stories. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Well, maybe we'll read one in one of these podcasts. Yeah, we should. We should. We should. But anyways, I think that's about it for today. Yeah, was... thanks for joining us, everyone. Yeah. We'll see you in the next video. See you, gamer. See you later.